Good morning, good morning, good evening. Today was a long as hecky day. I started the day off with um, driving lessons. Look at me go, oh my God. I uh, got picked up by my best friend, which was so funny. We like both already knew that we had the same driving instructor, but he, uh, our driving instructor, like purposely put us next to each other which was super fun because he also knows that we know each other so he was like let me put them together so that she can drive him home which was like so much fun um, <coughs> so that was my start of the day then after that immediately I went to the gym with my mom I honestly want to film in a gym a lot more but in that gym doesn't matter when you go only like in the early 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 morning or like really late in the evening it's not super busy we had to wait like for a few machines to open up which is like crazy because it's the biggest um the biggest basic fit in like the whole country so it's kind of crazy um and then after that we just went for like the quickest lunch ever and then I immediately had to go to work which I've just finished now I'm now walking home I gotta pee because because of that I have to pee so much now that I'm doing this 75 hard obviously but I'm like I pee like a bajillion times a day now and I still have to finish this all. Do you know how many times I wake up at, in the middle of the night almost peeing my pants because I have to pee so bad and my bottle started creaking this week which is really annoying when I walk but we're gonna have to deal with it. Um, I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna pee, then I'm gonna take a shower. Oh, I gotta pee real bad all of a sudden. Oh my god. Quick inside info about me. I have a cute little bladder problem. Love her. Um, I can, I can feel when I need to pee. But I do not have that sense that I like have to pee pee. You know like the difference between oh I have to pee but I can wait like 15 minutes and then 15 minutes not 50 and then like the, I gotta pee right now I don't I don't have the like that feeling from oh I can wait till oh my god I have to pee so every time I have to pee I have to pee right the fuck away and when my brain like knows there's a toilet nearby it gets even worse so I'm almost walking in the street of my home so it's getting worse I can feel it getting worse hello I've just come back from work absolutely exhausted tomorrow I have to work nine hours crazy I have to start at 12 and then I have to I end at like 9 15 ish but it's good because I didn't make a lot of hours this week so it's fine um i'm just prepping my uh, dinner because i have three breaks i have two of 15 minutes and then um one one of half an hour but maybe i'll do two half an hours because why would i need two 15 minutes anyway I sat in my favorite um, coffee cafe today, uh, editing the vloggy a little bit because it is Sunday today and it had to go up tonight. So I was like, I'm gonna do that really quick and then I'm gonna work. Um, cutest thing ever happened to me. I'm like, actually still like, my heart burns. Like, oh, it's cutest thing ever. So there's this girl that works at this coffee, um, at this coffee cafe 
and um, where I work is like literally right around the corner and it's a grocery store so a lot of people walk in so I recognized her face from uh, her coming into our grocery store all the time and then she also recognized my face because of that and um, there's like this little itty bitty friendship now between us because I'm like I find out that she worked at that cafe and now we see each other like a lot and I always say hi we always smile to each other and she had a cute outfit on today so I complimented her about it I tipped them too today and then um, she came into my store and then she was like, hey, there she is again. And I'm like, yeah, now I have to work. And she was, um, she had the tote bag of their company and oh, it is so cute. So I told her like, oh my God, that tote bag is to die for. I'm going to get it next time I go. She was like, I'm going to give you it. When I return, I'm going to go back. I'm going to give you a new one. And she... Like, for real, I'm not going to show the company because I don't want to... But she, for realsies, like, gave me their tote bag. It is such a cute tote baggy. I, like, absolutely can't. And I was like, no, you don't have to do that. She was like, yes, here, take it, take it. I'll get a new one. I'll get a new one. She's also so gorgeous and so sweet. And she has... Oh, she has the best style ever. So my heart was like so warm because of that. I was like, oh my God, that's the cutest little interaction ever. Hello, hello. So, oh, I buttoned this thing wrong, hold on. I've been out of, uh, I've been at home for quite a while now. And I've also been out of the shower uh, also quite a while. Um, I'm just packing my gym bag for tomorrow because tomorrow me and my dad are going to Amsterdam. Oh, uh oh, I'm like really excited because I haven't been in a long time and I'm excited to go shopping and just I want to get some new essentials basically. So that's on like the schedule. For tomorrow i'm having um an absolute panic attack no i'm kidding i'm having trouble picking out my outfit but i think i've chosen for one that expresses how i want to feel like very zen very calm very clean aesthetic so yeah everything's in here that i need now and then we're good. I'm gonna hit the hay because we're gonna uh, leave at nine tomorrow because we're going to the gym first, a new gym. Um, I'm really excited to try it out because I've seen this gym like everywhere and it looks so, <sighs> it looks so awesome. So I wanna try the materials that they have. I wanna check out the vibe. And then maybe I'll, when my year at my current, when my year um, subscription, at my current gym is over maybe i'll switch don't know yet maybe i guess we'll see after today um so i'm gonna put you guys away so i don't forget y'all and then i'll see y'all tomorrow morning
ish it's already 12:55. um yesterday i did not vlog at all because i had the longest day ever i had to work from eight till six which is like a 10 hour shift so hold on i was i was extremely exhausted and then after i had um dance practice it was really nice it was such a good class but after <laughs> after i was tired i went i took a shower and i laid my head on my pillow and i immediately fell asleep so um I had no time to vlog uh, yesterday, but I just realized that I did not give you guys a holy of what I got in Amsterdam. Um, it's honestly not much, but it is quite something. Uh, we went to the Uniqlo and I got myself some new basics. So this is a t-shirt in a size smaller than I usually am because I wanted it to fit a little bit more tight on my body. but. I did not want it to be like a crop top. I just wanted a normal t-shirt that's just tighter on the body. So I got it in black. And then I got it in white. This material is so nice. They were only 14 euro 90, which is like not expensive at all for like really good quality. Um at like H&M, you pay like 20 for a t-shirt with this type of material. So it's honestly not that bad and I'm thinking about um, also getting if I'm liking these I want to get them in like a long sleeve because I had the long sleeve um, uh, I did grab it but I did not get it at the end because it was kind of expensive so maybe later 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 I'll get it because the sleeves were really nice like the sleeves were coming all the way to here and I love that so I got those two then oh it's all the way over there I don't want to get up. Hold on. I also got this bag. I got this bag again, but then in beige. So now I have three different colors. Whoopsie jaysies. Um, and then the last thing I got is this book. I have been seeing it um, absolutely everywhere. And I am um, now starting to learn more about how my ego is controlling my life and your ego is not really what everybody thinks like being ego can the sticker come off like being egotistical is also about like the little voice in your head that says no we can lay in bed for five more minutes it's fine and your ego is really comfortable with everything the way it just is and your ego doesn't really want to change so i want to like i've been learning that my ego has been running my whole entire life and i'm breaking out of that right now which is actually really nice so i wanted to get more information and read a little bit more about it because the book i'm reading right now i'm almost done i think maybe in two or three days i'll be done um, so I immediately got a new book and then I also still have The Mountain Is You, but I think I want to read this book first, but I guess we'll see. So for today, it's, uh, clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere, clean up, because, um, I don't even want to show you the disaster, it's really bad, it's just all clothes, basically. So, I'm gonna put on some music. Um, I'm gonna start cleaning up because I do have driver's license or my driving. I do have my driving lessons at I think what was it five? Yes, five. So that's it for today. Day. the floor is free 
Um, it's still like halfway done because I'm not done yet. I still want to do a few things and I have to throw away the, th the trash. I want to clean up this a little bit more. And then also this. I'm going to get some new bedding. Um, and then I'm going to do something crazy. I'm going to do something crazy. But first we're going to go to the gym. First we're going to go to the gym. Probably gonna do some cardio because it's late and probably be really freaking busy. So, cardio it is today because I think we are going to our normal gym. So, that's what we're gonna do. I just finished my driving lesson. I had to drive through the rain. I actually wanted to cry at some point. It was like crazy. I couldn't see anything on the road, but it was fine. We survived. I know. The fun thing about driving in the Netherlands is in a week you can experience every weather. So, it's fun. I'm gonna get changed and then we are going to the gym. Oh, oh, oh. Good morning. It is very, very early in the morning again. I'm just making a quick lunch and breakfast situation um, for work so that I don't have to spend any money at work. I guess since I'm working so much, I'm also like actually spending a lot and I really do not like it at all. Yesterday, when I was, it, it is the butt crack of morning again, if you can't hear that, that because of my voice. Uh, uh, yesterday, I, when I was cleaning my room, I found some stuff that I really do not want anymore. And instead of throwing them away immediately, I actually put them up on Vinted. So go check it out if there are still items left. Because they are going so fast. Oh my god. Even to me, it's like actually insane. Because I put them up yesterday and they're getting like a lot, a lot of views and like an insane amount of favorites. I've already sold like three pieces of clothing. And then, um,. Like a lot, a lot of people are interested. So even though I find it really annoying when like sellers text me through Vinted, I think I'm, I am gonna um, text just a few people because 
I like really want to get rid of the clothes and I don't want to have them like sitting in this plastic bag forever because I put them in a baggie. Um, I put them in a bag so I like knew like oh, this is what I'm still selling. I wanted to add some vinegar, but then I saw we had pickles. Y'all, if y'all don't know this about me, oh shit. Ooh. I love pickles. I love, love, love pickles. My dad is really kindly um, dropping me off at work because he's going to train himself today in the gym and I was ready pretty quickly so I thought I could just do this really quick I'm gonna cut these up and then I'll see you probably after work probably Jesus crikey <clears throat> it is very motherfucking early I'm here an hour too early. Exactly, brother. Me too. I'm an hour too early. My dad um, drove me over here, which was really uh, nice. But I easily could have gone by myself. I thought, oh my god, I don't have the time anymore to make my food and then catch the bus on time. So I asked my dad if I could drive with him. It was a very stressful ride because he was stressed and then I was picking up all that energy. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. So I am a whole motherfucking hour too early. Okay, someone is here, which is good. So I'm gonna have to wait like a whole freaking hour in our freaking, what's it called? In our like eating space, I could have easily ate breakfast now, but can't do that. Can't do that. So I'm gonna ring the bell over here, and then uh, I'm gonna have to wait a shitload amount of time. Great, love it. Oh, hi guys, we are back in my room. See the boring thing about me working seven gobajillion hours a week so that I don't get to vlog anything because I'm like working the entire day. I've worked today from eight till four, I believe. Um, and then after me and my mom went to like this cute dinner spot, see, I am like vlogging on my phone a lot more, just like short clips for um, my TikTok 75 Heart series. If you haven't seen that, uh, the link to my TikTok is in my description so you can check that out um we went to um this little food place oh. girl we shared a nacho and then a burger the nachos were huge so they were pretty filling but the burger was like the best freaking burger i've ha i've had in like a very long time so I want to go back with the three of us really soon because the food is absolutely delish. And it's always like, especially in the evening, it's like a really fun vibe because every time I obviously train, um, like where we went to eat is like actually right besides where I train. So every time I go training, when I go outside, there are all these people and there's music and there's DJs and it's so fun, so cute. But... One thing I am going to have to do today is, or what actually now, is pack up some vintage stuff because um, the big bag, the, the big bag over there in the corner is filled with stuff I've put on vintage and I've already sold like four different items and I'm uh, in negotiation for my like fifth. Um, I... Mm, it's like two hoodies and then um, some sweatpants 
and then a, like a whole dark green, dark green sweatsuit that um, I still have but I don't really wear anymore. I mean the sweatsuit is really nice um, but I just don't wear it anymore. Um, I'd rather wear like some other clothes for just chilling or like these PJs. So I'm probably going to buy a little bit more of those. Um, so then I got some new monies again. Um, so now I can shop for new things. Not immediately. Not immediately. But um, the Uniqlo shirts I showed you guys were like a little bit too big. Like right at an awkward place. Like right beneath my buoy. They were like, there was all this loose, still like stuff. So I was like, I can't go a size smaller because then my arms won't fit because I have pretty big arms and they were pretty tight on my arms. So if I go one even smaller, then my arms probably won't fit through them. Um, so I, in Milan, I got myself a tight fitting um, t-shirt as well. So I think at H&M. So that one fits a little bit more, that one fits a little better. So I'm probably going to get that one in like a few more colors. But um, as I was looking like on the side, it was saying less items, less items. So I'm hoping they're not going to like discontinue them. But anyway, tomorrow's a long day. So um, I'm going to pack the vintage things in like just all those black baggies as well and then... I guess we'll see.